welcome um we're indoors today because it's not as nice as last week is it out there um so i thought we'd do a little bit of cookery bee because we haven't done that in a while we've been doing some crafts so i thought we'd mix it up a bit um it's still snail week so this week i thought we'd make some cute little snails whoops so I'm going to make a savoury one, which is there, a little one at the front, a little baby savoury snail and a fruit snail. Now it's very important when we're having snacks to get our fruit and vegetables in, isn't it? We're supposed to have five a day and the reason for that is so that we can keep our vitamins up, keep our bodies healthy, which is very important at this time uh, with this um coronavirus going about it's very important to stay healthy so we're going to show you how to do some healthy little snacks so i'm going to start with the banana one first so for that one you need um, either a kiwi or an apple so i've got a kiwi a banana and then some little bits for the face so as you can see here i've used a blueberry so he's got a cute little blueberry head but you could use a grape um a raspberry might work, anything like that really. So I've got my banana and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some peanut butter on it. If you don't like peanut butter, there's other things that I can think of are Nutella. It's a little bit of things that, with chocolate in in moderation are good for you, aren't they? So Nutella could work, but I'm going to use some peanut butter. Now it's a squeezy bottle so it's nice and easy for me to just squeeze that out on there. And I'm just going to put peanut butter all the way along the banana. So I've washed my hands, so we'll make sure you've all got clean hands before doing this. So you might want your parents to cut the banana up for you to help you or your guardian. There we are. So I've got peanut butter all the way down there. And then I'm going to cut some kiwi. So the kiwi is going to represent the snail's shell. Can you see that? I thought all the patterns in the kiwi were very representative of the snail's shell because they've got patterns on their shells, haven't they? Okay, and then all I'm going to do is stick my shell onto my snail. Now, one thing I didn't tell you, which I've forgotten to do, is the bottom of the banana, you need to just make it more flat. So ask your parents to cut that for you, otherwise it will just rock because bananas are rounded at the bottom so it's nice and flat now so that should, kiwi should go on there nicely there we go okay so that's the first step done now i'm going to use a blueberry or a grape if you've got one or anything like that for my face and then i'm going to use some little cute chocolate chips so i've got white or brown chocolate i'm going to use the white ones and i'm just going to dip a little bit of something sticky whatever you you cover your banana and you could use that stickiness to stick the eyes on so I put a bit of sticky peanut butter on there to stick his cute little eyes on okay and there's my cute little sweet one so that's my sweet treat done now to move on to my savory one so I'm going to use cucumber because I like cucumber uh, you could use celery, that would be a good one for the snail's body. As long as I think cucumber is good because it's quite slimy, which also is very representative of a slimy snail. So again, get your parents to help you with this. I'm using a sharp knife, so if you are using a sharp knife, ask your parents because I don't think a blunt one would cut that. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the bottom off, put it flat. And because this is savoury, I'm going to use some sort of sauce. Now, I've got salad cream. You could use ketchup. You could use any sauce that you like. I know um, Freddie likes ketchup. He has ketchup on everything, so he's more than likely to have ketchup on his. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit along the cucumber. I'm actually going to cut this one in half because this one doesn't need to be as big. So you can make two little cute snails. And now I'm going to take my tomato and I'm going to going to halve it again like I did with the kiwi fruit and that makes 
yourself a nice little shelf. Again, there's some lovely patterns going on in the tomato. So I've got myself a shell there. And for this little face, you could use again a blueberry. Or if you can think of any other savoury treats to go with it. I've got some nuts, but only use nuts if you've not got an allergy, of, of course. But you wouldn't have them in the house if you've got an allergy, of course. But I'm going to put some nuts on my snail there. I'm going to do my other one. Um, some snacks for the kids to do. They can either do them themselves or parents, you could make these to make them, um, encourage them to eat their fruit and vegetables because sometimes our children don't want to eat fruit and veg but they're so tasty when they're like this and they're very appealing, aren't they? So I'm going to take the nuts off this one. Well, actually, I'll put a blueberry on this one. Why not? So I'll put a little blueberry on his head and some... Oops, white chocolate eyes. There we go. And there we have our little snail crew. Okay. Can you see our little snails? There's the snail crew. All ready to eat for our snack later on. Perfect. So, I can't wait to see yours. Send us some pictures of whatever snacks you decide to make. It's perfect weather for it because it's not really time to go outside. It's not very warm. Although it does look like it's brightening up and see some blue sky. So it's perfect to make some snacks and eat them to get our vitamins. Um, everything you need to know about our um, snails, how to make them and things like that, is all on our pack along with all our other educational pieces so don't forget you can still sign up um it's not too late and we're also offering one-to-one -one tuition services now so myself and miss bethy are doing those so drop us a message if you're interested um thank you very much for watching i'll see you all soon bye